I want to get to the source of the spectacular dishes. So I'm stopping in to meet Tim Leming of Perro du Brahm. Tim and his family have been fine-tuning the techniques of a system called precision lambing where they emphasize the importance of lamb genetics, reducing mob sizes and maximizing their land to its fullest potential. Australia in particular, you know, it's, it's fantastic for raising livestock. We're very reliable on our growing season. We've got pretty reliable rainfall. It's not that harsh. We can actually still have our lambs reproduce in a winter because we've got a landscape that offers that natural protection. We care for our animals, we want them to be healthy. We've moved our breeding systems away from needing to mules, needing to use any chemicals on there to reduce fly strike. We started to introduce human grade pain relief with our livestock. Having them fit and healthy, it's a win-win for production and it's a win-win for animal welfare and animal wellbeing. Chef Walter. Welcome to Paradu Prime. 10,000 miles I come just to meet you. <laughs> yeah, sure you did. <laughs> I'm speechless around here. It's like so beautiful and I've been anticipating coming to Australia because I have induced your lamb for a long, long, long time. And lamb is one of my favorite out of all the meats, believe it or not. It's a great meat. It's a versatile meat, as you know, Chef. We're really proud of it as a, as a nation. You know, people want to know where their food comes from and how well those livestock and those animals have been cared for. So both of those things are dear to our hearts as Australian farmers. That we want to supply a quality product that is being cared for, but also in an environment that we're enhancing and making better than it was in a previous generation. We're planting a lot of trees on the farm for protection of livestock and livestock wellbeing. Our property has actually got well over 35 kilometres of waterway frontage, so we fence those waterways off to prevent erosion, to prevent nutrient runoff. They become biodiverse corridors for native birds and, and native animals. And I also realise there's a lot of detail work behind it to maintain yeah. the quality that you're, that you're proud of. We have get some really good production outcomes, but we get all these really good welfare outcomes by being smart and using our landscape really well and putting those most susceptible animals at their most vulnerable time of their life, which is when they reproduce, and we put them in these nursery type environments that are nice and protected by the natural shelter that we have on the farm, fence off the high part of the farm. We don't lamb there and because it's really exposed to the elements and that will be the difference between high lamb mortality and really, really good lamb survival. Gotcha. We've put about 170 kilometres of permanent fencing in the last 10 years, but it pays off. On the farm, you can get mismothering, and that's where the ewe takes the wrong lamb. So we've made a concerted effort in reducing mob size, and our lambing ewes lamb in mobs of 50 in a mob or less, as opposed to a lot of other farms might have 200 in a mob. If we have less ewes gotcha. in a mob, there is less chance of that mismothering occurring. We'll get 10 or 15% better lamb survival. All the savvy that you bring to your farm here, do you think there is a possibility that it can be adopted on a global yeah. basis? Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, we've had to do it in Australia because we have a very fragile environment. We've got a, a great ability, I think, in Australian agriculture to share with other countries in the world, and that continuous improvement is important for the land that we manage, but also the meat eating quality. The one thing that I know is that the Australian lamb always had a distinguished, unique flavour. Yep. You really, really can tell. You don't have to be a, a chef like me in, in cooking lamb for four or five decades, yeah. for a long time, in many variations and many recipes. And the commitment that you have shown, the passion, which is behind, because obviously it does a lot of love. You know, we're only one little blip on a big country of Australia. We know so many fantastic, passionate farmers that are doing some incredible things on their part of the world. As livestock producers in Australia, we are trying to be ahead of the game. That's what precision lambing is all about. Maximising the good.